Howdy folks, Doc here with Last Best Tool. And in my never-ending pursuit for bit holders, um, I present to you the Tecta 9-bit holder. This is kind of a dual-molded, simple design. They're available, I got these on Amazon. You can also, I guess, get them probably from the Tecton site. I just usually order from Amazon, even though you do get, I guess, a um, you know Tecton points or something to apply towards future sales. But what we have are nine kind of soft, uh, softer holes. Let me see if I can flex that so you can see. See how that flexes in there. Um, that hold the bits nice and secure. You know, you can see they're in there snug, but then they the bits slide in and out. And I'm using a larger one just to grab a hold of it. Here I put nine in, but sometimes the small bit holders hold it so tight you need pliers to get it out, you know, or loose and they fall out. Uh, some, like this snap-on one, are magnetic. Uh, this is still a frigid, or just a friction fit, but it's not the hard plastic. Uh, this is kind of some cheap ones here. Once these are in, and you notice these go all the way through, which sometimes helps getting the bit out, but also can be a bit of a problem. Um, uh, this is a PB Swiss one here. This is a little bit different take on it. Uh, and this one, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. So you can see the difference there. I wondered why Tecton did nine, and my guess is that many times bit kits come with ten. So you obviously have one in the tool, and then nine more that you can grab. I also explored, could I, you know, like for a toolbox or something, just to make sure it was in there, kind of nice and safe. Um, or not poking anything, or if I had some specialty bits. A pair of these is $6 on Amazon, or 3 bucks a piece, but you, can, you have to buy them in pairs, uh, which to me is quite reasonable. There are other choices, like these uh, boxes. Uh, every time I mention this, uh, it's new to some people. I'll put a link. This is actually designed for 22 ammo. Um, some come in sets. This is the one that Klein has that comes on one of its screwdrivers. Uh, I found this loosens up. It's just the soft material, but after a while, you know, sometimes certain positions that get used more than others, the bits start falling out. Um, other other odds and ends here, but anyway, so I, I consider these a win. Um, it holds the, the bits in securely, but also you can easily get them out. Um, I, I don't think you can cut these. Some of these I do cut uh, these two I glued together for um, a larger number. I think that's 24 bits there. But also you can cut these, these uh, inexpensive ones, uh, to make custom sizes. Um, I do that sometimes for bicycle kits where I just need a couple of bits, but I want them in some sort of storage. Um, however, these, when you look close, don't appear to have enough room. That, and because it's the softer material, you probably would end up um, just losing the bit out of it. But anyway, I find these really handy, helpful, inexpensive, functional, and this is kind of a neat neat way of, uh, if you want to spend that much on, I mean, this PB Swiss was like $10 here. Snap on, I think, I can't remember, this was, this was a lot. But anyway, that idea there, just to protect them. So, let me know what you think, and with that, dock out.